but uh, that's the thing with test cricket you've got to keep up a good standard for a long time virtually for the five days that's why Australia are such a good side because they they can maintain the pressure for that long England are another side that uh, play well in patches but then they'll have a bad period and against a side like Australia that's all they need Oh, he's had a go at that one. That one he has hit well. That one sailing way down over the deep long one fence. And a big six it is as well. Well, he may have mishit a few, but that one was really sweetly hit right off the meat of the bat. And uh, that is more like the Mark War we know. Three down for 183. Three for 183. We've got a bit of a pause here because... Uh, we're sitting up in the commentary box. So I lost sight of that. One of the reasons may be because the ball ended up uh, hitting the roof. If it did, this is a huge six. Have a look at this. He's whacked it. Up she goes. There it is. You can see it. Now, where does it come down? On the roof of the stand. Well, that is a huge hit. <laughs> That's an enormous hit. No wonder... Uh... Mark Wall was standing there admiring it. Well, that's a huge hit. I have no idea uh, how high it is up here, but uh, it's very high. Well, to still be at that height over that distance means it's an enormous hit. Yes, we'll have to have another look at that. Uh, it may well still be on the roof, the ball. I'm not sure this is... I've, I've certainly never seen this before. Up it goes. He got right underneath it. It just makes the roof. Just have a look at this. What a hit. I reckon that might have just rolled along the top of the roof into the gutter. I'll tell you what, I bet there's no volunteers uh, to go and get it. I've seen a... And a former South Australian player climb up on the roof at the Adelaide Oval and uh, retrieve a ball that had gone on that uh, the red roof of the Adelaide uh, stand. Once more, he did it in his cricket boots with the with the sprigs. But I don't think anybody will be climbing up there to get that one back. Right, well, just to give you some idea, he's hit that one from this end and uh, it's gone way up and landed around about there. That's where it's gone. And it's just rolled towards the back of the stand. In fact, it probably went a little higher. I think it went up in the air, actually came down on the roof. Oh, what a hit. can recall uh, Kim Hughes hitting one uh, to the second tier of the pavilion at Lords in the centenary test that's uh, that's a pretty big hit but I think this one would be well certainly a lot higher than the uh, the second tier of the pavilion at uh, Lords badly now we did have a bit of fun yesterday down at this end we saw one of the best hits of all time Mark Wars six was sensational have a look at this Oh, he's had a go at that one. That one he has hit well. That one sailing way down over the deep long one fence. And a big six it is as well. What a sweet hit that was. Now, the question is, how big a hit was it? Well, I'm standing at the crease from which he was batting. That's the view looking down towards the stand there. I can tell you it's 90 metres down to the end of the boundary. There's another 10 metres, which uh, then takes us up to the level of the roof down there. And it's 35 metres up to the top. So he smashed it down there and it landed right on top of the roof. Now, those of you who've been to school know all about Pythagoras' theory, not too hard to work it out. In the right angle triangle, the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. Very simple, 100, 35, and away we go with the answer, 106. There we are, a carry of 106. It would have gone a long way further if it had been allowed to drop instead of hitting the roof.